Hi, this is Tony Henderson Mayers, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. And I know you may be thinking, wait, you talk about romantic relationships. Yes, but I also talk about family, friendship, business relationships, relationships with yourself, God, and your money. And this series, Moments of Inspiration and Prayer, um, helps us to get a better relationship with God. And so I hope you enjoy this portion of my Tony Henderson Mayers page. And without further ado, here is Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. Each and every one of you, this is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur. I own Word Therapy Publishing, an alphabet theater workshop, but many of you know me as Wise Courtship. Because of my book with a three-step system, it will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. And I am so excited to have each and every one of you on. Thank you for watching me on this channel, as well as on so many social media platforms. So good to see each and every one of you. And we're going to see who's in with us live, joining us via Facebook Live and Periscope, and of course on YouTube later on, and my podcast on various platforms. So good to see you. Good afternoon to you, Lakeisha. Blessings to you as well. And so we're going to get ready to get started. So I hope that you are ready and have your iPhone, your iPads, or any of your apparatuses. Okay, I hope you have that with you, ready to turn to the word. So we are going to look at... um. A couple of scriptures, but but mainly this one, and I'll, I'll get to the other one in a moment. Um, we're going to look at this scripture first, which is Psalm 107, 28 through 30. Psalm 107, 28 through 30. I pray that each and every one of you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. I am always so excited when you guys come on. So thank you for that. You don't have to do that, but you do. And I'm appreciative. I really am. <laughs> so let's go ahead and read Psalm 107, 28 through 30. And of course, I'm reading from the NIV version. That's the New International Version. And it reads like this. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm and he guided them to their desired haven. And we're also going to read um, 1 John 5, 14 through 15. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. Good to see each and every one of you coming on and I will greet you in a moment. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. Now I'm reading the, the English Standard Version, okay? The English Standard Version. And it reads, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, meaning God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. And so today we're going to talk about really briefly, very briefly, the power of prayer. We're going to talk about the power of prayer. Good to see you, Derek. Good to see you. <laughs> I think it might have been the first time I called you by your first name. <laughs> Good to see you on today. Um, and thank you so much for joining us via Facebook as well. And so we are going to talk about the power of prayer very, very briefly. In both of these scriptures, dear ones, in both of these in scriptures, we see some um, information about prayer. Um, in the very first one that I read to you from the book of Psalm, um, we see um, that um, there was a situation 
um, where someone had to cry out to the Lord in their time of trouble. Okay. They were in a, in a perilous situation, a very dangerous situation, and they cried out to God and God heard them and answered their prayer. And I'm, I venture to say, okay, I'm taking a liberty here, but I venture to say that in this uh, situation, a situation near death experience um, that they were having, they probably, um, Derek, they probably, Lakeisha, did not have a opportunity to do a formalized prayer. You know, one that starts has a, a beginning, a middle and an end, um, something that was uh, laid out. They didn't have time to do a very public prayer. You know, them public prayers that some people change their prayers up the public they feel like they have to clean them up in a way that they have to say their prayers a certain way when they're praying before other people not realizing that you're talking to god okay because that's what the prayer is for but i mean i get it in general you know what people are trying to do but some people really think that that prayer ought to switch up because we're in front of other folk y'all not listening to me but i venture to say that in this particular incident in an instance, these people did not have an opportunity as, as the winds and the waves and the storms were happening. They did not have an opportunity possibly to give the prayer like they would if they were home and, and they relaxed and everything was calm. But yet, even in that prayer, that prayer that may not have been formalized, that prayer that may not have had every uh, T crossed and every I dotted, that prayer that may not have been phonetically correct and, and grammatically correct, that God still heard them in their time of trouble. And that's something to know about prayer. We're talking about the power of prayer, dear ones. That is something important to know is that um, your prayer doesn't have to necessarily be audible. Okay. It's not something that necessarily has to come out of your mouth. You may be thinking it. You may be screaming it into the top of your lungs. You may only get one word out, but if it's given to God in sincerity, listen, he hears you and he's the type of God that will come to you in your time of trouble. I wish I had a witness here on today. So is there anybody in this chat who's going to witness to that so that if someone, hey, Crystal, good to see you. If someone was to watch this replay, if someone was to watch you on YouTube, because they will see your comments, will you help us out by telling, letting them know, let the redeemed of the Lord say so? Uh, thank you so much, darling. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, good to see you. Crystal is um, watching us via Facebook. And let's see, who is this? Mono, good to see you. Mamo, um, F246, uh, uh, good to see you. Visiting us via Periscope. That's right. Your prayer doesn't necessarily need to be audible. Your prayer may be a grunt or a groan. It may be a holler. It may be a scream. But when you have your mind on God and you're running to him for protection, you're running to God for answers, you're running to God uh, for solutions. <clears throat> you are still praying to God. You are still turning to him. There's a scripture says the, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his trouble. So we see here in Psalm 107, 28 through 30, let me put that back up there for those who didn't get that scripture. We see here that in this particular scripture, that they cried out to the Lord. Okay. And it wasn't just one person. It was a bunch of people crying out to the Lord in their time of trouble. Okay. And he brought them out of their distress. He will bring you out of your distress. And there's something about a corporate prayer as well. When everybody gets on one accord, when everybody is in agreement Wow, the power of prayer is exemplified when we can all get on one accord and we can all have one solid goal together. That is so important. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm and he guided them, them to their desired haven. Let me tell you something. God has the ability to solve whatever it is that you are praying about. He has the power to do it. Somebody say in the chat box, God has the power. God has the power to answer every last prayer. He has the power to fulfill everything that you are praying about. And you need to go before the Lord knowing that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You need to go to him knowing that he has the power to do all things. He can do anything but fail. 
And so this, these people came together on one accord in their time of distress. God heard them. He solved the problem. And even though this problem was big for them, the waves and the, and the wind and the storm, they couldn't handle that. That's a natural situation. That's a natural disaster. That is something that is beyond their ability and the, beyond their scope of being able to handle. But God can handle things that we cannot. I wish somebody would let me know that they're right there with me. God can handle things that we cannot. There's so many things that are out of our hands. Crystal, this pandemic is way out of our hands. And God is the only one who has the ability and the power to handle it. Oh my gosh. He's able to calm the storm, not just get rid of the storm, but he calms the storm. And then the last part of that scripture says, and he guided them to their desired haven. He can take you out of a perilous situation that you are going through right now. And he can, he can steer you right to your desired location. You may have been desiring health and you have been in a rocky situation with your health. He can heal you and he can give you the desired health that you've always wanted. You may have been praying for a family and everything's been going wrong in your life and seems like you're not going to get that family together, that marriage together. He can take you out of that situation of doubt, maybe that situation of turmoil or bad relationships, and he can fix all of that and put you right where you have always desired. And I'm here to tell you that God knows the desires of your heart. That's why you ought to go ahead and tell him about it. That's why you ought to open your mouth and say, God, this is what I need. This is what I desire because he already knows the desires of your heart. So let's look at the second scripture that we read in the Eastern Standard Version. English standard version. And it says, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, toward God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Oh my gosh. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And so listen, here's the key, dear ones, is that we've got to know God's will. Oh my God. Good to see you, Jerry. Jerry, good to see you on today. We've got to know God's will. And so when we know God's will, let's go back to that scripture. Let's go back to that scripture. First John 5, 14 through 15, it says, and this is the confidence. You can be confident in this. You can be strong in this. You can plant your feet in this. There's so much that man says on television, on radio, in person. There's so much that men and women say, and their word doesn't mean anything. Sometimes it doesn't mean anything because they're not trying to let it mean anything. And sometimes it doesn't mean anything because they're human. They have the intention of doing what they say they're going to do, but they can't do it, fulfill it because of some limitation, some human limitation. Even your mother wants to come through with you for you time and time again. But mama gets old. Mama gets tired. Mama gets depleted resources sometimes. Sometimes her whole intention is to help you, to be there for you. And some human limitation stops her. But God is not a human. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He is God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And so this scripture says, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, toward God, that if we ask anything, oh my gosh, anything is in totality. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. So we can't be praying outside of God's will, wanting all this kind of stuff. There's no way in no way, shape or form God's will. And some of us will still try to pray for it, honey, but it's not in God's will. We've got to get in alignment with God. And some people have a problem with that. That's right. God can handle things that we cannot, Momo. That's it. Exactly. Some of us have a problem with that because we think our will here we go, Jerry. We think our will sometimes is better than God's will. Our plans are better than his plans, but his ways are not our ways. His plans are not our plans. Man makes plans, but God decides where we will go. 
And you say, well, that's awfully controlling. But let me tell you, God is so good and so loving and so wonderful that even when you are sure you're going to go down the wrong path, he will divert you to help you out. <laughs> Somebody ought to say, thank you, Jesus, in that chat box. He will divert you to help you out. And also sometimes some things just must happen. They must happen because, listen, we are not in this world alone. It's not just about you, boo. It's about a whole bunch of other folk. And sometimes you have to get up and do X, Y, Z because later down the line, someone's going to benefit from that. You getting your degree. I know you think you just getting it so you can get a better job and you can get some money in your pocket. But when you get that degree, you are changing your children's lives. You are changing another generation behind you. You may, um, there are so many people that you are set to help. After you've gotten that degree and you get in this certain position, you are there to serve and you are there to help other people. You've got those resources and those blessings to be a blessing to somebody else and not just a blessing to yourself. I wish I could get an amen in here for that right there. I say amen myself. That was rather good that we are not here just to bless ourselves, sit up, get fat, belch and burp and call it a day. We are here to be a blessing to someone else. And so when God blesses you with other things, you are to be blessing other people as well. Momo says he can take you out of a perilous situation and bring you where you have always desired. Yes, indeed. So let's look at 1 John 5, 14 through 15, English Standard Version. It says, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. You know, some people think God can't hear. Oh my gosh. But God hears everything that is coming out of our mouth. Good to see you, Facebook user, watching us via uh, Facebook. I don't know your name. It just say Facebook user, but good to see you. Guys, if you ever want to, matter of fact, with this new platform, make sure that you register. There's some kind of notification somewhere here where then that way you'll be able to respond to us and be part of us. But thank you so much for joining. And so listen, some of us think that God cannot hear. God can hear and he can see, and he knows everything that is happening. He knows what happened to you in the past. You are not surprising him. You are not shocking him. He knows what's going on right now, and he knows what will happen in the future. And so whatever you tell God, he's listening. He can hear you. If you whisper it, he can hear you. If you put your pillow over your mouth and get up under them covers, he still can hear you. If you go to the farthest corner of the earth, God can still hear you. God knows what's going on and he wants to hear all about it because he wants to be in communion with you. He wants to be in relationship with you, but he already knows the situation. And the verse continues and says, and if we know that he hears us, if what in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that he, that we have asked him. And so we have this confidence and know that he hears us in whatever we ask, whatever it is that we are seeking. And listen, sometimes we want, when we think about what we ask, we're always thinking about material things. And yes, we need to have things taken care of. The Bible already says he knows about, you know, the clothes and the food and all that. He got you. Your needs are supplied. Okay according to his riches and glory. But there's some other added things that we ask that we want, but there's some things that we're asking of God that have nothing to do with material things. Huh? I wish somebody would answer right there. Some of us are praying earnestly for health. Some of us are praying earnestly for strength, for wisdom, for protection, um, for guidance. Oh my gosh anybody in here. And so there are more things to pray about than material things. There are more things to pray about than you. Oh my God. We're going to pray in a moment. And as we pray, we're going to be praying for other people as well as pray for you. But there's more things to pray about in this world than just you. And so it's so important that as we pray and we know God hears us, that we put other people's name before God. We ought to lay other people on the altar. We ought to lay their concerns on the altar because we know God hears and we know God cares. So if we know this, then we ought to go before him. And it says, whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. 
That is the confidence that we have. And so we got that. Where was the, what the proviso? The proviso was, is that we pray in his will. Let's read that scripture one more time. As we end this, it says, and this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of him. And I pray that you guys were blessed by that. And we're going to get ready to get into the prayer. We're going to get ready to get into the prayer. And so if you don't mind, ma'ams and sirs, I just pray that first of all, you go ahead and share this broadcast so that someone will be blessed by by touching in almost every platform. You've got to touch down here all the way down there and you can share it in so many ways. If you're on Periscope, you can um, tweet it out. You can also share it with your followers and you can put it on Facebook. And if you're already on Facebook, you can put it on your timeline. You can start a watch party or invite somebody into the broadcast. Podcast. And listen, if you are watching via YouTube, like, comment, and share. Share this broadcast. Same thing if you are on the podcast. Make sure you uh, share this broadcast and leave comments, guys. Let me know what you are thinking at the time. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. Come on, guys. Let's celebrate him because we know he hears us. We honor you, oh God. We lift you up, God. We magnify you. We celebrate you, God. You are so worthy to be praised. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we come to you as you said in your word, knowing that you hear us and that if we ask anything that is according to your will, that you hear us, oh God, and that you will grant it is what we are petitioning. Father God, first of all, forgive us for not realizing the power of prayer, that you come to us uh, when we desperately need you. You come to us and you hear us, oh God, that you um, that you save us out of our troubles, oh God. God, forgive us for not utilizing this power that you have given us. Father God, we just thank you. Anybody thankful today? We thank you for life. We thank you for health. We thank you for strength. We thank you for the ability to come before you and pray. That's talk to you. That's tell you all of our troubles and tell you all of our burdens. To even thank you, oh God, each and every day. God, we thank you for our families. We thank you for our, our homes. We thank you for um, the ability to have food and clothing and, and a place to shelter. And God, we just thank you for keeping us even in this pandemic, oh God. We thank you for our places of worship. We thank you for this medium called Facebook and, and Periscope and YouTube and um, on all of the podcasts, on all of the platforms, on iTunes and, and for uh, um, um, Stream Public and, and Anchor and all of the platforms, oh God, that this broadcast is going through. We thank you, God, for that. We thank you that we can still praise you and honor you, even if we're not in a physical building. God, we just bless you on today. God, we thank you for keeping our bodies. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that we can see, we can hear, we can touch, we can taste, we can smell. God, we don't take it for granted. You are so good. Matter of fact, you are better than good. We just honor you on today. Now, if you have a prayer request, go ahead and put it up through the chat box at this time. God, we just bless you and we honor you. And God, we just, first of all, want to um, pray for the Wise Courtship family, oh God, for those who watch us on the broadcast, those who have read the books, those who come to the conferences, uh, those who've been streaming with us, oh God, that those who have the broken hearts and who are crying out uh, for direction, God. We thank you for all of these years, keeping uh, the Wise Courtship family together. We pray for every family on here. Good to see you, Habiba. We pray for uh, each and every family, every wife, every mother, oh God, every father, every child. We thank you um, for all of us in our respective places. We pray for every man and woman of God in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you so much for them as they bring the word of God. Go ahead and put your prayer requests up if you have them. God, we just thank you, oh God, for... Um, uh, for our places of uh, work and income. You have still provided for so many of us. And for those of us who do not have a job, you've still been sustaining us. You've still been keeping us, God. And we just 
anybody happy, anybody want to praise God? God, we just thank you for that. God, in the name of Jesus, you didn't have to do it, but you did. And we're so glad that you did. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, that you have been keeping our mind. Oh my gosh. You've been keeping our mind. You've been pushing depression and suicidal thoughts and all of those things away away from us. You've been keeping us joyous, God, but we do pray for those who may be going through uh, um, about the depressions and, and suicidal thoughts. God, we pray for those who may be sick in their bodies. Oh God, we pray for those who may have been suffering from COVID-19. God, we pray for healing over Momo right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Oh God, we pray healing. You said by Jesus stripes, we are healed. And so we touch and agree together on this broadcast for healing for Momo God right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we praise you, oh God, for the healing. God, we pray for um, everyone's financial circumstance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, whatever it is, oh God, we pray increase in their lives, increase in their businesses, increase in their ministries, increase in their household uh, income. Come, God, we pray for them. God, we pray that businesses will be born and products will be developed and services will be provided in the name of Jesus. God, we pray, oh God, for provision all over your, uh, uh, all for your people, oh God, those who call upon your name, oh God. God, we pray a, a transfer of wealth, oh God, in the name of Jesus so that we can stand up and do what it is you have assigned us to do. God, stir up the gifts that are within us, oh God. Give us holy boldness that we can stand firm in our gift, in our anointing, in, in the word, oh God, in all the things that you have assigned our hands to do. And now God, for anyone who was too embarrassed to put their prayer requests in this feed, possibly it was too private to share with anyone. God, we touch and agree with them right now, knowing that you hear us, knowing that whatever your answer will be, whether it's yes, no, or wait a minute, it will be better. Somebody put better in the chat box. Your answer will be better than what we've ever expected. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you so much. And look how Viva is on. Good to see you, girl. Good to see you. That's my girl right there out there. You still in Lagos? Still in Lagos, Africa. That's my sister. Good to see you on today, known as Digital Lucy on Instagram. And I don't know, is it on Twitter too? Let me know. So good to see you, Tracy. Good to see you. Um, we are definitely praying for you. Yes, indeed, Tracy. We pray now in the name of Jesus over the Miles family. Um, in their time of agree, uh, bereavement, as well as God, just keep them together and love, bless them, um, heal them, deliver them, keep them together, oh God, keep them lifting up their hands to you in good times, in bad times, oh God, surround them with your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> I think we might have a little bit of delay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So uh, if you do have a prayer request and somehow, Somehow I missed it. Please, dear ones, know that I will go through this chat box and we got a lot of comments. Y'all was praising God in here. Look at this. Oh, wow. Um, we just know that I will go through this and I will pray for you um, as I see your prayer requests. Okay. I will definitely do that. All right, dear ones. Um, it's time for some encouragement. What do you say about that? And then we're going to go ahead and end this broadcast. And for those of you, if just in case it's your first time joining us on any one of, okay, <laughs> Lagos is in the house, Lagos, Africa. Good to see you. Matter of fact, why don't all of you guys let us know where you are viewing us from in the chat box? Go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, give us a little bit of encouragement. And then I'm going to send you right on out the door because I know you got a lot of things to do. Even though we sheltered in place, honey, there's still things to do, isn't there? <laughs> God always gives us something to do. So um, with that being said, I want to encourage each and every one of you to utilize your gift. And that is your power, your special secret power. And that is the power of prayer. And so many of us are not using it. You are so welcome, darling. So many of us are not using that power. Use that power that God has given you. 
You're not going to be able to handle everything. There's going to be some things tossed your way, but there's so much confidence and so much peace in knowing that you can lay it before the Lord. And sometimes, you know, sometimes Habiba, sometimes it is just too, I mean, it's too heavy. It's just too heavy. And sometimes we can't even utter a word and we may need to reach out. Newark and Brick City's in the house. We may need to reach out to some friends or family members to touch and agree with us. And that's okay. That's okay. Because in this lesson, because we talked about the power of prayer in this lesson, when these people were in total distress, they together corporately prayed. I don't know if they held hands and prayed. North Carolina's in the house. I don't know if they held hands and prayed. Um, but, um, sometimes that's what we have to do. Sometimes we're there together and we're all crying out in our own ways. That's fine. Whichever way you got to do it. It doesn't always have to be audible. Does it Momo? It could be something you're saying in your mind and your heart. Uh, sometimes it's something that you grunt or groan, but you have to connect with God because he is the one who can bring you out. And listen, I know we've had some tough times. It's been really tough. And for those of us in the United States, it's been, it's been, it's been a trip. I think we could have done better. I think we all know we could have done better and all of that, but we're here for a reason and we still celebrate God. We still honor him. And we know that our friends and family that are in other countries and whatnot, we know you guys are praying for us and we thank you so much for that. But even in this time of pandemic and sheltering in place, you know, when it rains, because I think it was yesterday, it was really storming here. I mean, it was really storming. And then after a while, the storm ended. The cloud lifted and the sun came out. Matter of fact, they say the sun is always shining, but it's the clouds that come before, you know, come in front of the sun and it starts raining. It says the sun is always shining. And so that ought to be a lesson to us in our lives that even though we have storms going on in our lives, the sun the S-O-N, God's son, God himself um, is shining and he's always there and it's never, ever, ever going to be dark and gloomy always. <laughs> that will pass over. It will pass over. And you know, sometimes we get depressed and we get, um, we get upset and frazzled about a situation. But if you really sit down for a while and just think about it, you'll say this too shall pass. It comes and it goes. And uh, sometimes we have some tragic situations in our lives and I just, just shake your head. And I just say, I, I don't know, Lord, I don't know why that happened, but the sun does come back out and shine. And sometimes in some situations, you understand it better by and by. In some situations, we won't know why it happened till we go to glory, but I do know we serve a just God, a good God, a wonderful God who will hear your prayers. And if you can just align those prayers into his will, wow, you can ask anything. <laughs> that's really, that's some good news. Somebody put good news in the chat box. You can ask anything and it will be done for you. Well, I got to go. But you know, guys, you can visit me um, on the web which is www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayors. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And in this day and age of alternative facts, things spinning way out of control, God is still in control. He still sits on his throne. And until Jesus comes back, that's right. We got to learn to watch, fight, and pray. Take care. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video.